Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. This, this thing is absolutely amazing. Like everything Solus puts out in the market, guys. That is the 41 CS. And I'm here at the Annapolis 2022 boat show. This is the first time I see some uh, twin 600s on this bad boy. And uh, I got something brand new that I want you guys to see. So we're here. We're gonna go ahead and start talking about this unbelievable boat. This is the 32 guys, but we got a brand new one that I want to show and this is it brand new 30 so I guys I did a video uh, not too long ago with Stephen Doherty and he actually walked the 32 and first of all Sean um, yes. Introduce yourself so they know. I know it's busy. You're yeah, no, it's all right. Uh, uh, my name is Sean Hickey. I'm the national sales director for Solus Boats. I've uh, been with uh, Solus for uh, a number of months now, and um, we've really been really exciting. We've been introducing some new models in the last last year, year and a half. I saw that that uh, 41 CS first time I see it with those twin 600s. It yeah, looks we, yeah, we're that boat is actually. Um, we're capable to run that boat with a, with a number of different engine packages. We could do it with twin 600. The Volvo. I did it with the Volvo. We could do Volvo diesels. We could do yes. quad 450s, quad 400s. Uh, boat will run, you know, all, all the way up to 80 miles an hour if you want it to. Okay, so so this is what caught my attention when yeah. I when I was walking here. Yeah. I was like, wait a second, I haven't seen this boat. Mm -hmm. So is this hole number one? This is hull number one. Uh, you might want to call it a prototype. Uh, it, it, it really, actually, we popped out a hull number one that was as perfect as, as perfect could be. Um, it is a what we call the 30-foot HCS, uh, which is a hybrid center step. So this is the largest, we believe, the largest bay boat on the market. Uh, it is uh, it's, designed to, it's beautiful. to give everybody that's in the in a bay boat that's in the you know in the, in the high twenties or or even the mid ranges to go to get step into something a little even bigger. So um, it's got all the options that most of the bay boats have, and then even some more. Can we walk it real quick? Yeah, we sure can. Guys, let's go ahead and walk. Uh, Sean's going to go ahead and show us this uh, this boat. And uh, listen, um, every time I've come and I've filmed Solus boats, it's there's there's always something in innovative, you know. Stephen is, I was I was talking when I when I interviewed Stephen, he's like, I just think a lot, <laughs> and he That's you know, he does. He does. and you know he told me one time he got an idea for the trash chute at McDonald's, yeah. right? When when you have a trash chute, we have them up forward. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so okay, so let's go ahead and kind of properly show this particular what you're calling a hybrid, the 30. Yeah. Um, so maybe somebody's in the market for like a a bay boat. But this this almost this doesn't feel like a bay boat. Yeah, and, and, and that's and that's where the hybrid comes in. The hybrid comes in because uh, most of the bay boat uh, industry favors the the flats boat side of the spectrum, where they're more uh, boats, they're they're going to run good in shallow water, uh, but they don't really run good in rougher water. We build a bay boat that actually leans a little bit towards the offshore center market. So now you have a boat that you can run in the shallow water, just all the skinny water, do all the type of fishing you want to do there. But then if you want to run offshore. You've got those capabilities, and, and this does. This is uh, has a very similar hull to our 32, but then it only draws about 15 inches of water. Uh, we've rigged it with dual power poles. One of the one of the things that we love about what we've done here is that we've opened up the transom with two doors in the back. We've made. I like that. We've put bigger swim platforms, right? So. Lots of companies build the boats and then they try to figure out how they're going to fit a power pole on. We actually designed the boat and engineered it so the power poles fit perfectly. So I'm going to move the back back seat here a little bit, maybe we can see back there more. But if you look at the size of these platforms, we've made them wide enough and made them long enough so when you're at a side tie, you can board very easily. There's boarding ladders that are available on both sides. We've done this really unique back to back seat on the transom. I like that. So like if you're at the sandbar or fishing or, or fishing, yeah, you have rocket launchers on, just, on all sides. I, lo comfortable to sit I love this. Look, Look at this. You got We pride ourselves on building a boaters boats cuz we know that you're not going to just be fishing. You're probably going to go to the sandbar. Maybe one night you're going over to the restaurant. Maybe you just want to go for a cruise. And here, how about this? Here's a bay boat, a 30-foot bay boat with a bunk down below. And really? If you're not using the bunk. You've got you've got horizontal rod storage for eight rods. 
but you can do everything on this part. I like that. I like the, the fact that you have a second station on yes. this as well. This is our new Cobia tower that's available on our 32s and our 30s. So yes. on the 30, on the 32 as well. As well. Yep. We do it now. We're doing it on both. So it, it does feel somewhat smaller, a little bit more intimate than the 32. Yes. And it's and just it's just two feet difference. 30. Two feet difference, a little bit narrower. The, the uh, beam is different. Three to nine to to, to uh, ten three. Um, That's what I'm feeling. It, it has, uh, excuse me, it's 910, excuse me, to 103. Okay. Uh, you have a little less gunnel height. So that's where the bay boat feature comes in. So you, those, those of you guys who like to be a little bit closer to the water to get you, to get your catch in, and that, that's what we're giving. Nets and okay, but we still offer a, a, what we would offer on our 32s and, and above. Uh, the Garmin packages are standard. Digital switching is standard. We're we're doing our um, our top of the line upholstery on every boat. Um, that windshield that opens up. Windshield that opens and closes. That's standard. It's beautiful. I mean, this this is uh, when I was doing videos of the uh, 41, yes. we would open it and we were getting a little hot. We would just get that. It's amazing how much um, wind can go in and out of there and to change the way you feel in moments. Well, you know, it, it, it gives you the ventilation, but it's actually the best feature that it offers is, uh, or um, yeah, I would say that it offers is, is the safety. So when you have a closed in windshield, you can't, at night, you get all the glare and you wind up having to step away from the helm to see where you're going. Yeah. You don't have to do that with us. So you can stay at the helm, you can stay on the controls, you'll be able to see. And then if you're stuck at the helm like I always am and everybody's up in the bow hanging out, I can open the windshield and I can hang out and talk to everybody and not feel like I'm separate. Or if I'm docking, I'm able to communicate with the people on the bow. Some people don't say there's wind fatigue. I would I would say that there is wind fatigue, especially when you're hauling ass on these boats. That's correct. Right? Um, so so we definitely got some seating areas. Do we do we have the magnets within the gunnels? The, the magnets are all laminated into the into the gunnels. On the 41, we actually put little icons on there. Yes. But we've cleaned it up a little bit, and we you know once you know where they are, you can you, you they're usable. You're so we do that all the way around the the, uh, the the deck, and then it's the cushions, right? Which is so great. How many times have you had to? You've, you've either walked along with a, with, a, with a snap that's sticking up and caught your foot on it. Yeah. Or what's even worse, try to put most manufacturers' cushions on. You can't get around and snap that inside snap. It's really difficult to do. You don't have to do that with us. Boom. Done. And it never Magnetic. blows off. Yeah. You know, and guys. We've equipped this 30 with a nice tro uh, trolling motor. Um, it's got a, a free fall windlass. We build the deck a little offset so you can see there's more knots get on one side. So that's the way, so it's designed to take that that uh, trolling water. And we still have the windlass that's, uh, that's functional with that. I really Good storage uh, forward. love all this, dude. This all is beautiful. All of your cushions and your combing bolsters. Look at how we notch out in here. Instead of having just a slide down backrest that they do on most of the other boats, we actually built it right into the boat. So when you get in there, it's real sturdy. It doesn't wobble around. You're not looking for a place to store it when you're not using it. It's, it's already incorporated and built into the boat. Wow, this is uh, absolutely uh, impressive. What's what's the cabin look like? Come on around here. It's actually uh, it's, it's actually very roomy. I'm six foot four and I can stand up in there no problem. Six four. Six four. Yep, All right, guys, the, let's go over here. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. You know, th this is because this is what I like about when Steven uh, starts designing stuff. Um, the team over there always finds the most practical scenarios and. Uh, and situations for their customers, right? Right, so what we did was here, a 30-foot bay boat with all of this room down below. Okay, like I said, I'm 6'4", I'm standing up in here. I'm, the, I'm my, you know, my head is just uh, just hitting the, uh, the top a little bit here. Uh, they got the head incorporated in. Nice deep bunk and with a sink. And check this out, I love this. If you're not using the bunk, you got enough oh, nice. horizontal rod storage. Excuse me. I love that. The cushion running all the way forward so you can lay Play, your rods down. Here. Yeah, and you're good. And you're good. And here you have your access panel to your electronics behind this door, I'm assuming? Yeah. All of that's behind there. You know, we, remember, we do everything in-house, so all of our electronics and everything are done in-house. You can see how clean it's done. Everything is machine, machine swedge. We use tin copper wiring. Uh, it costs more money, but it's the way you want to go. You, if you want longevity, you want it to last. These are the brains that are involved with our, our, our DCMs that are involved with our digital switching system, shadow caster lighting systems. Um, this 30 foot bay boat has underwater lights in the steps because it's a double stepped hull. It has them along the back. Um, 
LEDs on everywhere. Uh, we light up the engines for you as well. And uh, so, what are we looking at as far as like uh, speed on some on something like this? With with what's the package? This is, this? is equipped with twin four hundred Mercury Verado. So, with this engine package, you're running, and and we're, this is our, our prototype. So we're still in initial uh, testing phases. <laughs> this but this thing looks. This thing looks fully done, dude. Yeah. If you're calling this a prototype, it is. Uh, uh, I, uh, knock on on wood, you guys don't have to worry on. This thing looks absolutely outstanding, and I'm, I'm sure it rides just as good. Well, you know what? We, we always talk about how we can, if some companies will look at one of their boats and say, hey, how can we build this cheaper? We are constantly looking at our boats and saying, how can we build this better? Okay, so this prototype, we can make it better. We're gonna learn, we're gonna see how everything works. You know, as we run her, we're gonna maybe tweak, uh, you know, whatever it is that we feel like we need to tweak to make her perform better. It feels or different. Maybe, it know? definitely feels different from everything else that I've filmed, right? Yeah. So, and, 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 and that also is different for the different type of customers. Some customers want, you know, they want to do that backcountry and that's really, they, they're not really, they don't care to go out, you know, 400 feet of water, but they have right. that capability if they wanted to. Right. So you're not pigeonholed into one thing. Yeah. You're not going to go, I'm not just buying this. And now I have to buy two boats if I only buy a boat that can yeah. go in the back country, right? This boat does everything. This is the I perfect like boat. And I don't care if you are in Cape Cod or you're in Key West, it's going to be usable in either I, place. I, I'm digging this hybrid uh, because guys, look at this. Um, you can literally be in the Keys, fishing in the Keys, get up here, step, step here and drive up there. You can s sit up there. Um, fully, it's fully operational. It has it has a screen up there. It's a 12-inch Garmin screen. All full controls. Everything you need to run up there you, uh, that you can run down below, you can run up there as well. How fast is she going again? She's going to do, right now I've got her doing about 64, 63. 64. Yeah, and that's with uh, with the, the Mercury Verado, the twin Mercury 400s. And can you um, put the 450s if somebody wanted to? We haven't done that yet, but we're always willing to try <laughs> something, you know. But, but, but we can do the 300Rs. And um, I mean, she's more than capable of handling it. That, you know, with all the carbon fiber that we use in our construction, the stiffness and the strength of the hull can it can uh, absolutely handle more horsepower. It's just that we haven't made a decision whether or not to go that well, route or not. When I talked to Stephen about the 32, which was I, we talked, I think it was the Fort Lauderdale yes. show, and uh, he says, I build them so that people can try to break them. Yeah, that's exactly you know. And then he sh he sh shared a thumbnail picture of that 32 <laughs> yeah. four feet out of the water, yep. you know, yep. and, and he was on the boat and he said he was having a great time. And, and he says, listen, we, we break shit all the time. That's, that's exactly what he told me off camera. Yeah. But he does that so that his customers don't have those situations happen. Because look, sometimes we're put in really dicey scenarios that we don't expect when we go, we begin the day thinking everything is perfect. And then all of a sudden you're in a, in a pickle when you got a storm that you didn't expect or whatnot and and that's when you want the boat to to, to do what it can that's right and that's why we te we test to the extremes we're going to test the boat to the extremes because if we can if it can hold up that what we can put it through we know that it's going to hold up for you for you and, the, and for the public when they're using it in their regular use so we got a n nice uh, helm here we got some storage up here as well mm -hmm. i see that we have everything nicely positioned here on the hard top um, is there multiple hardtops that, that they can have, or is this? Well, the, without if the, uh, we move everything aft when you have the Cobia tower because you need to use this for, for getting up and down into, yeah. the, into the, to the tower. But on, on the regular hardtop, which would be just this, this would be gone here and this would be flat. We we move some of this forward, but there are there's a lot of room as you can see. If you want to add additional electronics down the road, there's plenty of real estate to, to add the head units and all. Um, what's the, the the fuel capacity on something like this? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you no, but it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, we'll put it. We'll, 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 we'll put it below though. Oh, look, it might say it here. Uh, fuel ca. Oh, I have it. I have it. In here. You got it in there. Okay, back. guys. So it's 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 not it's not there. Okay, so there's a price point here, Sean, of six oh five. Is that like a show special here? Yeah, that's and, a boat show, and special. That's a boat show yep. special here, right? And here, 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 and in, in Annapolis. Annapolis, guys. Annapolis 2022. This uh, scan strut is a, a wireless charging system. And 187 gallons. I was off by seven gallons. 187. So you're off by yeah. seven. 
I don't know. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to abort this video. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no. Okay. So, so if somebody wanted, they didn't want the Cobia Tower, and they just wanted, you know, it's, it's something more simple. Is there a difference in price? Uh, there is. There is. There is. I mean, it's really about getting, you know, finding who your local dealer is, getting in there, and telling them what you want, mm -hmm. and let them build the boat the way you like it. At that point, we will, you know, we can work this, out. With this you thing and, is beautiful. You know, with, with right now, which is great about with Solus, is that we're we're able to um, uh, build boats and 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 and, uh, and get them out to to the to our customers quicker than some of the other manufacturers. Uh, we are a one-stop shop. We do everything in-house. We do all of our own tooling. We build our own molds. We have um, you know we have the capabilities of, of, of doing all of our own metal work. You name it, so it allows us to operate a little quicker than some of the other men. Where, where can they go online to 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 go get more information on Solus Boats, or 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 maybe the the dealer here in Annapolis? That's correct. Yeah, SolusBoats.com, and that will that will get you uh, to what you ever to, and, and on there you'll be able to find the local dealers. Um, our dealer here in Maryland is Bosun's Marine. They're over in the uh, Eastern Shore in Kent Narrows. Uh, there's also the uh, we also have a Bosun's that's. Uh, on, uh, in Cape Cod and uh, north of Boston and, and, and Peabody. Seakeeper option on these guys? Uh, we some... don't use Seakeeper. We use another another manufacturer. Well, Gyro. We a gyro. Quick, quick, quicks are awesome. Quicks are awesome, and we use quick. Those, uh, those are air cooled. On our 41s. Yes, they're available. Excuse me, they're available on the 32s. At this point, we're not doing it. We're not putting one on the 30. All right, guys. Well, listen up. I want to thank Sean here at Solis. Sean, we're gonna do some more stuff. You got anything interesting? You wanna? I mean, I can't believe you guys didn't tip me off that this 30 uh, was over here at the show. I saw it and I was dumbfounded. I was like, wait a second. This boat looks and feels so different. What is this? And when I saw the power poles and all that stuff, I was like, wait a second. This is like a hybrid. So it's unique. It, it, it's a little bit of everything. But uh, if you're a, if you're a true boater that loves to, to do all kinds of different things on the boat, this is the boat for you. Bring it to Miami. I have a little bit of time. We'll run it. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it down there for sure. All right, guys, Alfred Montaner. Bozum booth here, Annapolis with Solis, and uh, how, how fast is that uh, 41 doing with those twin uh, 600s? The twin 600 boat will do about 63, 64 miles an hour. All right, well listen, I'm going to get back to work because I see people calling for your attention because you they, they want you to sell them a boat, guys. I want to sell them a boat. Alfred Montaner, guys, and uh, check them out. We're out of here. We're out of here. Check us out.